We all know the no Wi-Fi dino game. Well, what if the no Wi-Fi dino game was 3D? Oh, I already did that. But what if I added a boss battle? Oh, I did that too? Dang, man. Well, too bad, I'm gonna remake it anyway. With way more game dev experience, more bosses, cutscenes, and maybe even multiplayer? Let's hop right into it. The journey starts with us starting a new Unity project as every single game development journey goes. Instantly made an environment with a nice blue background. Then I had to make the dino. Obviously, that's the next step. I used to start with the cube. <laughs> Why did I do that? That's boring. Instead, we're gonna start with a nice nice template dinosaur model. Look at that. Nice. With all this experience ever since the first video, I was able to get the jumping work in first try. Oh, I mean, I guess second try. Third, okay, it took me a little bit. <laughs> but we're on it, baby. This is almost a complete game already. We got a dinosaur, he's jumping, we're in the desert. I was gonna make this a multiplayer game, and it's a pretty well-known fact that if you're gonna do that, you have to start with the multiplayer. I imported Mirror, a multiplayer solution, into my project, and I was already getting errors. Something went wrong. So I went on a hiatus of making a ton of random games, and then came back to the dino game. And what I learned from my hiatus, I was able to get multiplayer working. I got some dude jumping around, and I was pretty dang excited. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I added a cactus, or I mean a green rectangle. I added a nice health bar over the character. I really like this. And I was able to sync the health bar and the cacti over the network, baby. Another thing that's not like the dino game is I added WASD movements. So you're not just stuck to one place. This is turning into more of like a cuphead game, okay? I added some animations. Ooh, looking good. And look at that. What is that? Huh? It's ducking. You guys wanted ducking so badly. I also got the animation syncing over the network what hey hey yo what is what i really wanted this project to be was like a two-player cuphead story game and i knew i wasn't gonna be able to do this myself so i went to look in one of my favorite discords and this is how i met kimmy chi baby if you saw the last video that's the guy that helped me make my christmas game this is how it went is anybody Hello. here an artist Neither. i'm working on a project making a multiplayer game if you're good with blender i'm looking for someone to help me out i can't abandon what i've got going i got you bro I could probably bash you pretty much all you want right now. Oh yeah, baby. While Kimchi was working on all the models for the game, I had to get working on the boss battles. I decided to make a template so I could make a ton of different boss battles easily. And whenever I was finished up with that... Yes, we did it! Kimchi was already done with the model. Okay. First on the list, we have the dinosaur. Oh my god, that's awesome. Fully rigged. Then we have El Cactus with the revolver. Oh, hell yeah, dog. So, yeah. Yes, it does sir. Have... That looks great. Dimitri sent me a ton more okay, assets, baby. including some hats for the Ooh, dinosaur. Hey, Cuphead? Love this dude. Threw these bad boys in there and thought it was time to bring El Cactus into the mix. I want to look at the model and Kimmy Chi being British. Oh, I'm sorry, bro, but this gun is horrendous. <laughs> being from Textures. I got to make this gun a little bit bit more appropriate. Give him a longer forehead to make him more intimidating, and I brought him into the game. After I got him working a little bit, I decided to also bring in the pterodactyls that Kimichi made. We're about as far as we are with the old game. As you can probably see when I duck, it's really hard to call it ducking. I couldn't have him duck without raising his neck, so I made him look more like the classic version. It was time to actually give El Cactus some real animation. I gave him two phases, a few different animations, and a really cool death animation that I'm really proud of. It's what we've all been waiting for. For boys and girls. It's time to look at the other bosses in the game, baby. Let's go. The next boss by high demand is Mr. Meteor. I gave him three different attacks. One of them, he tries to squish you with his booty hole. Then he shoots a random array of his children at you. For his last attack, he does this somehow. The next boss by not as popular demand, but it makes sense as it's the no Wi-Fi dino game. Wi-Fi itself, that's what I'm talking about. This is the coolest boss ever. I was able to make his eyes light up, freaking cool, bro. And then I made him shoot a laser from his little antenna. After that, I found this cool glitch effect off of GitHub, and this is the most satisfying boss you've ever seen in your dang life. Ooh, cool. I like you a lot. You probably noticed that I updated the animation. Oh, and there's a scrolling background now. Oh, Oh, and wait, why am I blue and I got a banana on my head? Because it's time to make some character customization. Trying to have the dinos have separate colors over the network was the hardest thing I've done in a long time, dude. But after I did it, I felt so good. Oh, it's working. It's working. 
Oh my god. People are probably sitting there like, all you had to do was blah blah blah. Shut up, dude. Let me have this. All right, I'm a noob. Didn't get the hat sinking yet, but it was pretty much the same process. Yeah. The game's looking pretty dang fun right, right now, now, bro. Oh, got the two people running with their own skins. Oh, Talk about. Now it's time to make this not look hideous. I decided on like a Western theme because you're in the desert and you're a dinosaur and there's like a cactus with the revolver. It just seems kind of right. I landed on the name Dino Head because it was so much like Cuphead. I sketched out this UI in Photoshop, some icons I found offline. I had an idea for the icons for switching skins to be pistols and every time you click on them, they'd make a shoot animation. I think it turned out pretty dang sweet, bro. <laughs> Epic dinosaur drawn. I brought all the UI into Unity and I tried to replicate it to the best of my abilities, which was not as straightforward as I thought it was gonna be. This is the end result and I am very happy with it. I think it looks pretty sweet. This nice little compact YouTube video is making the journey seem relatively smooth. After like the first few days of working on the project, it became hell. I was getting bugs and it was taking me like 40 minutes to find where they were coming from. All the bosses got out of sync over the network and I was very uncertain on how to fix that. <laughs> and then to avoid like fixing all the networking problems and all the bugs, I just kept on adding cool things that I wanted to add to the game. And I just kept piling on features and features and then I just took a break from the project. I made a ton of other projects and then it's been like two months. That leads us to today. I realized I had like a project that was like 70% done that I never finished. I remember while working on it, I was thinking, man, this is trash. But then I come back and look at it. I don't think it's half bad. So I just want to know if it's worth continuing or not. I've already invested a lot of time into this project and I do not want to continue to invest it if it's not interesting. If you guys would like to see me continue making this project, let's get the 10K likes on this video, baby. <laughs> Exploitation. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Catch you later.